In this video, I'm going to walk through the creation of the schemas and tables for the databases text and classic models that are used in Dr. Richard Watson's textbook on data management. The first thing we need to do is we need to go to Dr. Watson's text website. And so to do that, open up your browser. And one can Google One can Google Richard T. Watson or Richard Watson DME6. One is directed to the website for Dr. Watson. And one can go to his personal website and the data management textbook. There we go. The website is richardtwatson.com slash dm6e. If you can find the link, just go there directly. Then one wants to click on support, hover over support, and in the drop down that shows up, click on tables. And then right here, we see all tables in chapters 3 to 10 and classic models. And so one can create the tables and insert the rows by clicking on this create link right here click on the create link gives us all the sql that will allow us to create the text schema and all the tables in the text schema or the text database furthermore it will also give us if you scroll down far enough If you scroll down far enough, there we go. It'll give us all, it'll give us the schema classic models, it allows us to create the database classic models, and all the tables in classic models. And so, to do this, one needs to control A, all of this. Control A selects everything on this web page. Hit Control C. Now, if you're on a Mac and you're doing this, you want to do Command A and Command C. If you're on a Windows machine, do Control A and Control C. So, Control C if you're on a Windows, Command C if you're on a Mac. And you copy all of this. Then you come to MySQL Workbench. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure your local host is started because what we're going to do is we are going to create this text database and this classic models database on your local machine on that MySQL server that is running on your local machine. So let's make sure that MySQL server is actually running. And so we see in this case my SQL server stopped, so let's start it up. Now, if you don't see this notifier or you don't know how to install my SQL server on your local machine, please take a look at one of the other videos. So my SQL server is running on this local machine, so you can connect to this MySQL server using Workbench. It's asking me for the root password. Specify whatever that password was. And now, all of that text you had copied from the website, you will have a query window. Just paste it into that query window. Once you've pasted all of that text into the query window, this lightning button 
not the lightning button with the cursor but the lightning button just click on that and what it's gonna do is it's going to go through all this SQL and execute this and basically all the create table queries are executed all the insert into queries are executed and so this depending on your uh, machines might take uh, some time and so as you can see uh, it's taking some time while it's working through uh, the uh, the text database I can, as I can see those queries running you can see the queries running right here as the rows are affected normally uh, on most machines this might be a little bit faster uh, in my case it's taking me a little bit of time because I'm actually operating a virtual machine And if you noticed, there were about 5,000 lines there. Now, it's not all 5,000 that will be executed, but it's going to be quite a few. Now we see data is being inserted into orders, and this is obviously the classic models database. And so after executing these queries, what we're going to do is we can refresh. Um, it's, still, it's still working through them all. Now again, remember that you are running this on your local host. You are trying to recreate the text and the classic models database on your local host. So you've got to have MySQL Server installed on your local host. You've got to use Workbench to con connect to the database on your local host before you do this. And what this is going to ensure is that you are able to query the text database and the classic models database even if you are not connected to the internet or don't have connection to a remote database server where these databases exist since they now exist on your machine okay I think that's it I think the installation uh, or sorry the creation of the tables is complete and so if you click on this refresh button right here, we see we have the classic models database and we also have the text database. And there we go. And so you can close this tab out now, create a new tab. And so I can say select star from select star from customers. And so select so start from customers. If I run that query, I get the result for the customer's table. And so queries are now executed successfully. This is how you go about creating the classic models and text database on your local machine.